Hello everyone, my name is Tom, otherwise known as Titanium Legman, and I know I have a lot of videos on my plate, a lot of things to continue, Final Fantasy VI, I've got Armored Core content to do, all sorts of fun stuff like that, but right now, I wanted to take a minute and do something a little different, because today, as I've learned, is the 25th anniversary of the first release of Pokemon Yellow version, and if you didn't know, Pokemon Yellow version, along with Pokemon Blue version, are my first Pokemon games that I ever played. And they were not quite my introduction to Pokemon as a whole, because I had friends who played the games, and I watched the anime and everything, but it was my introduction to playing the games for myself, and that was going to be something that would impact the rest of my life, because even though it's not something that gets talked about on this channel, I am absolutely a Pokemon fan, and I do very much enjoy those games still to this day. So. I wanted to talk about the story behind me first acquiring my copy of Pokemon Yellow because it's something that's very near and dear to me and it's a pretty cool story and it's something I've told on stream and some people know about it so if you've heard this story before my apologies I hope you enjoy hearing it again but I just figured it was a good time to share it because looking back 25 years ago it's pretty wild to see how far I've come, you know, obviously I'm a grown man <laughs> compared to the wee little child that I was back when I first got the game, but uh, it's nice to talk about, and it's nice to remember. So, I have some footage of the game playing in the background, which was very nice, honestly, very nostalgic to boot up and play, even though it hasn't been that long since I last played it, maybe a year or two, but it's still very nice, so I hope you enjoy this little trip down memory lane with me. So, when Pokemon Yellow first came out, I had never had a Pokemon game before. And the reason for that is that my mom, bless her heart, was very opposed to me playing too many video games in my youth. And she was very opposed to me getting involved in Pokemon because she saw it as a stupid fad, something that wasn't worth me spending my time and attention on, whatever. Um, but that was very upsetting to me because, as we know, Pokemon was massive and only getting bigger by the day. And all of my friends were playing the games and trading the cards. We weren't old enough to understand the game back then to play it, but they would trade the cards. And watching the anime and everything is everyone's first introduction to anime, a lot of people anyway. And so it was very upsetting to me to kind of be left out of that. I felt like the odd one out very much so. And, you know, it's kids don't have an understanding of... Sometimes you just don't do something and someone else does and that's fine. So you feel very much left behind when there's something that's that big going on and all your friends are doing it and you're not. But my dad, because he is awesome, and this is no dig at my mom or anything. I understand her concerns from back then and everything, even though they wound up not being as much of a concern as she maybe thought they were. My dad decided that, no, 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 <laughs> this cannot stand. I'm not going to have my only child, my only son be left out of something that everyone his age is doing and it be something that he wants to do and is just being told he can't. We're not doing that. So for Christmas that year, Christmas of 99, he decided that I was going to be getting a Game Boy Color, Pokemon Blue, and then Pokemon Yellow. Not that he knew that originally. <laughs> That's where the story starts. So of course I had written my uh, letter to Santa from back in the day when I was a believer. And on it, I had listed Pokemon Yellow, but my dad didn't realize that there was a difference in the versions, right? So he had picked up a copy of Pokemon Blue. And it was only once he was looking back at the list later, and we're talking like two days before Christmas later, that he realized, oh wait, this is a different thing. And he asked around, he asked some of his buddies who were getting the game for their kids and everything. You gotta realize, my dad then was only a few years older than I am now. He would have been, what, like 37, so younger guy. <laughs> and he's asking his buddies about, oh, what's this goddamn Pokemon game? Like, oh god, I don't know, there's different versions? Ah. And he realized, oh, this is the new special thing. This is the special version that's got new stuff that everyone wants and no one can find because Pokemon was a huge phenomenon already at that point. So when the new game came out, everyone was in a frenzy to get it. And he's like, oh. well, if I'm gonna be getting him the game and a Game Boy to play it on because I want him to be able to be included in this thing that all his friends are doing, I have to get him the newest version, right? <laughs> so he already had Pokemon Blue. So he, as he tells the story to me now, he went out the day before Christmas, the 23rd, 
and Christmas Eve day, 24th, with one of his buddies to just go around and give him moral support. And he drove, as he tells it, across the entire length and breadth of eastern Pennsylvania. <laughs> we were living in Northeast PA at the time. And he could not find a copy of this game anywhere. He spent hours driving around, him and his buddy, every single store, every Kmart. I think Walmart was around at that point. Walmart, like electronics boutique games, random places like Radio Shack and thrift shops and anywhere that could possibly have a copy of this game. And everyone basically laughed him out the door because there was absolutely no way that they were going to have a copy of this game like the day before or two days prior to Christmas on the year of its release. No way. Because it had only come out in October. He was getting desperate. And he was so afraid that this was a game that I was not going to be able to get and that I was going to be so disappointed because it's the version that I asked for specifically. And it was getting near the end of the day. We're talking like 6 p.m. on Christmas Eve day. People are closing up shop. Stores are closing down, departments are shutting down for the holiday, and he runs into a random Kmart, I think in like, I think he said it was in Stroudsburg, which was hours away <laughs> from where we lived at that point, but he was down there, and he runs over to the electronics section, and there's an older woman, older than him at the time, who's just starting to close up, and he's out of breath, goes running into the store, he's like, oh my god, I'm so glad I caught you, this is like the last place I have time to check. I'm looking for a Pokemon or for a copy of Pokemon Yellow version for my son for Christmas. It's, it's the thing that he wants more than anything else. I got the wrong version of the game. It's the, this is the one that he asked for. He didn't ask for the blue or the red version. He asked for the yellow version and I I can't find it. Do you have it? I'm desperate. And she looks at him. And it was one of those looks where it's like, you know, and you kind of get like a a sassy older woman who's been working retail her whole life. She kind of gives you that side eye like Man, you're really just up shit creek without a paddle, aren't you? That kind of look. You look. She looked at him. She goes, technically, no. And he says that she must have seen the soul leave his body. It was his absolute last hope. And she sighs and she goes, but I do have one copy that a woman asked me to save for her that she was going to come and pick it up. She was supposed to get it an hour and a half ago. I'm closing. I am supposed to be out of here. I was actually supposed to be out of here like a half hour ago, but with the rush and everything, I wasn't able to get out. I'm closing up now. She hasn't come to get it. If you want it, and you're saying that you're getting it for your son, because there was a lot of people who were like buying it and scalping it, you know, but she was trusting him that he was saying like, no, this is a legitimate present for his son. Then I'll sell it to you. And it's just going to be tough luck for her if she tries to rush in at the last second and get it. Because this way, at least, it'll go to a kid on Christmas instead of sitting here behind the counter. And my dad is one to uh, over-exaggerate a little bit. He definitely likes to tell his stories, and they get bigger with every iteration every time he tells them. Uh, but I've only heard this story a few times, so I trust that it's fairly accurate to the true events. And he says he could have fallen to his knees and kissed her right there, and he was just like, Thank you so, so much. I will absolutely buy it. I promise you it is for my son. He's going to be so happy. You're going to make his Christmas. And she smiled in that kind of tired way that a retail employee working Christmas Eve day will smile in a tired way. And she wrung him out and she gave him his like one copy of Pokemon that yellow that existed in the state, apparently. And he came home and he wrapped up that. By the time he was done, he had Pokemon yellow, Pokemon blue, one of those neon green Game Boy Colors. My first ever Game Boy. I'd never had one before. And the official like Pokemon strategy guide for red, blue, and yellow. And I'll tell you, I don't remember anything else that I got that Christmas. But I remember opening that Game Boy. And I remember opening not one, but two Pokemon games and a strategy guide. And my world just <laughs> exploded from there. I can't remember the expression on my dad's face, but... He's always been a huge, like, Christmas presents kind of guy. He loves giving people presents. He puts so much thought and effort into finding cool things and things that people wouldn't expect and making Christmas great every year. And for me and for my mom, and then since I started dating Jane, for Jane as well. You know, she'll come up to 
see my family after she does Christmas with her family and there's always a pile of presents under the tree waiting for her and he has her open a bunch of stuff and he even holds extra stuff aside so that she's not the only one opening presents. It's not awkward for her that he'll give me and my mom so that everyone's opening stuff. It's like a little second Christmas. He loves it. It's great. Um, but I, he must have been happy. He must have been proud because I loved it so much. And it was my first ever game console that was mine. All the games that I had played up to that point were always technically his. We had a Nintendo when I was growing up that actually belonged to my mom. And then he had a Super Nintendo. He had a Sega Genesis. He had a PS1. Uh, we had a PC that he played things like StarCraft on. And I would watch him play all those games. And I'd play some of them myself as well. But I had never had a game console of my own. And getting that from him was so special to me and then now years later when he first told me that story of his epic saga of trying to find the last sole remaining copy of Pokemon Yellow <laughs> like it was the MacGuffin that was going to save the world in some 80s action movie just warms my heart even more now whenever I look at that game uh, I still have it I still have that cartridge of yellow. I still have that old neon green Game Boy Color. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I have the Game Boy Color anyway. It should be in the drawer in my old room at my parents' place with that copy of Pokemon Yellow. And uh, it's never going to go anywhere if I have any say in the matter. To this day, Pokemon Yellow is one of the games that I have completed the most number of times, I think. I replayed that game so, so much trying out different Pokemon, maxing out Pikachu's happiness, catching as many different things as I could, battling against my friends. It was great. It was so special, and it allowed me to be included with my friends in a way that I hadn't had too many opportunities to be in the past. So it was very special to me. Um, Dad, if you ever wind up watching this, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> The fact that years later now, it's something I can look back on and smile about so much and consider that, like, alongside playing games with with you, Dad, with, with him, uh, that's one of the reasons that I'm here doing this channel now. It's the reason that video games are one of my biggest passions in life, something I've devoted so much of my life to because they're fascinating and beautiful. And a lot of that has to do with opening Pokemon Yellow, that... Christmas morning in 1999 when I was a wee little lad seven <laughs> so yeah uh, that's my story of how I got my copy of Pokemon Yellow why it's one of my most treasured possessions and why I appreciate my dad so much for getting it for me and the story that went into that so thank you guys so much for watching here's to celebrating 25 years of Pokemon Yellow version that is insane if you haven't played those OG Pokemon games, I recommend that you try. Because they do, they're old, obviously, but they still hold up really, really well. There's su such a nostalgia factor there. So, I might go play more of it right now. But, with that said, my name has been Tom, otherwise known as Titanium Legman. Thank you again for watching. I very much hope that you enjoyed hearing this little story. Back to more regular content now. I gotta go work on some other stuff. But, thank you for indulging me in this little side video, I suppose. I hope you all have a good night, stay safe and healthy out there, and remember, be good to each other. Bye now. <laughs>